words like panic, anxiety, uh, I feel like I can relate to those my entire life. I don't know that I have all would always use those words, but uh, definitely as I think about those words now, um, and especially with this series like Above the Noise, Winning the War Against Anxiety, um, war seems really appropriate a term uh, to use with how I feel like my life is. It, it all has revolved around um, trying to make people happy, trying to make people like me, um, and finding my value, worth, identity in that. Growing up making good grades, which I did, um, trying to be a good athlete, which I was pretty good. Um, those types of things, it was all about performance, trying to make the coach proud or trying to make my parents proud or trying to make other people proud of me or make them like me or hope they would um, say good things about me or feel good things about me. And then the opposite was true is that if they were upset with me or yelled at me or friends were mad at me, it would completely ruin me. And so that's just how I live my life all through childhood, all growing up. Um, to the point where even in high school, I had stomach ulcers. Uh, I stressed so much and um, was a big problem through college. Um, same thing uh, and into adulthood. Stress is such a thing that this past February, um, I had a pretty bad car accident. Um, I was on my way to work. It's a Sunday morning, standard routine, up pretty early to heading to the South Campus uh, to go to work. It was dark out. For about the last 18 years or so, off and on, with high stress, every now and then I have these weird little episodes. Um, I had it checked out several years back um, at the doctor because it kind of weirded me out when they first started happening in college and they were diagnosed as sort of a type of migraine. So that's just what I always call them and refer to them with my wife is just uh, I had a little migraine episode today. They're kind of like uh, I'll have a little deja vu, get real nauseous, and then just kind of have a headache. Um, but they're usually real fast. Um, that particular morning in February, I had one of these leaving the house. Um, I was over about by Olive Garden driving on the loop um, and had one. And it was just oh, had a little migraine thing, um, kind of a high stress point in life with work, um, which happens every now and then. And then uh, just kept driving, kept going on about my day like I normally do. Taking exit 707 to head to South Campus. I remember seeing the housing development there on the right as you exit. And then the next thing I know, I wake up in the ER at Abilene Regional. My wife's there, uh, Randy Reese is there. Um, I'm real confused and my back is hurting really, really bad and trying to figure out what happened. My wife asked me what happened and I tell her I had one of these episodes thinking it was a migraine, but all of a sudden she and I know this probably isn't a migraine. Um, and we go on and start to see doctors, start to see a neurologist um, and realize that I had a seizure and that all these years, these little episodes are actually, according to the neurologist textbook seizures, um, there's likely some epileptic things going on, um, but also um, no doubt stress involved with this. And so uh, we're still in the journey, not a lot of answers. There's definitely some good answers that there's no um, brain tumor, brain bleed, things causing this, which we're really thankful for, but there's still a lot of, uh, of answers we'd love to have that we don't have. And so we're in the middle of the journey, I would say. We're in the middle of the war, trying to figure out some things that we may never have answers to this side of eternity. Some practical things for me is I've had to identify where are my worst moments that I need help, where stress and panic and anxiety really peak, and um, I'm not finding rest. And so I need community that I can call upon because what the enemy wants to do, I think, to all of us is make us feel isolated. This book has been a resource for me that has just been uh, life-giving. One of the big things in here is we all struggle with um, performance. And if we live our relationship with the Lord in a place of constantly trying to do and achieve and perform, uh, we're always gonna be um, at a loss because Christ came and died for us. Um, while we were still sinners, He came and died. And so we, we start from a place of being. We are sons and daughters first and foremost. We can be. Some days are really bad, some days are really great. 
um, but not willing to just live in it anymore or just call it a migraine or just say this is how I am or I'm just a control freak or whatever terms I want to use or we want to use but rather we're gonna win this war against anxiety and we're gonna rise above the noise and we're gonna call upon the Lord and um, overcome.